it's not going to stop any addicts from using. But what it's going to do is help addicts not get diseases. It's going to help addicts get tested. We found Gary Campbell and his wife Paige Panarello on a visit to Camden's syringe exchange program. The two are recovering heroin users. They drop by a couple times a month for health services and to pick up clean syringes. If there was more of these places, I believe there'd be a lot less more diseases, a lot less more overdose, a lot more people getting tested. There are five sites throughout the state where intravenous users can get clean needles for free, but there's no dedicated source of funding to keep them running. Camden served nearly 5,000 new clients last year and handed out almost 200,000 needles. Thanks to the syringe access programs here in the state of New Jersey since 2007 when we got started, we have been able to reduce um, HIV AIDS by IDU use by 70 percent. Clients can drop off dirty needles too. Camden sees two out of every three needles handed out returned. We have heard from law enforcement and from uh, the community at large that children and everyone else are finding fewer needles on the ground uh, because people are returning the needles. Health officials are pushing the legislature to pass a bill establishing grants that will fund these syringe access programs or SAP. Camden's executive director for the Area Health Education Center says they need $150,000 a year to run a SAP adequately but receive just $30,000 through a federally funded state program. We had to reduce the number of needles that we hand out to our clients from 20 to 10 at a time because we don't have the kind of funding to make sure that they can uh, have adequate number of needles. The needle exchange is just one part of this program. It gets people in the door and then gives them access to a whole list of other health resources. We have an opportunity that as we do our needle exchange of talking to these individuals to get them in to uh, drug rehabilitation care. Um, we also have an opportunity to get them screened for other sexually transmitted infections to see if they have hepatitis C, uh, make sure that we can provide them information uh, in terms of um, not overdosing. Um, and uh, all that matters. So it is a cost savings that is priceless. It's not promoting drug use. If anything, it's trying to keep the risk down and yes. keep the diseases down so people can, you know, be clean about this. If you're going to use, you're going to use. But they also help you and say, hey, do you, like, want to look into a program, whether it be methadone, Suboxone, or a rehab? The Camden SAP site got Gary Campbell to the top of a waiting list for a methadone clinic. They work with a network of health care and rehab providers to get clients treatment. The site recently started Narcan training and handing out kits. Just today, my mother overdosed, and if we didn't have the Narcon shots, who knows if she would be here right now. The system is confidential, judgment-free, and open to all. In Camden, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJ TV News.